all right what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas today i experienced my very first earthquake and i gotta say man it was complete madness buildings were collapsing and people were missing and i was dying and panicking just trying to find out what caused such a ruckus i go on twitter next thing you know oh it's just lizzo she jumped on her bed Anyways, guys, if you like single mothers that are really, really hot, be sure to subscribe to the channel so we can all support them together. And without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into the video, fellas. So I've seen a lot of annoying things about me on the internet, but the thing that bothers me the most is this rumor that I stage dived at a concert and killed somebody like that. Rumor, it's a fly, first of all. I've never stage dived in my life. Come on, man. Lizzo stage dived and killed somebody in the process? Oh my god. These gotta be some of the best trolls on the planet, man. They, they are doing a great job. Kill somebody? Y'all really gonna put that on my motherfucking name? Like, I know I'm big, but bitch, I'm not that fucking big. Like, look. Oh, you're not that big. You're not that big, are you? You're really not that big, are you? Okay, so I go out on Google. I check your weight. You are 300 pounds, bitch. 300 fucking pounds. Look, I'm really not trying to be that mean, but you're the same weight as like a small fucking hippo. Come on now. You can't be out here in the streets claiming to not be fat while looking like this. Like, dude, do you know how many calories you would have to eat a day in order to sustain a weight of 300 pounds? I understand some people got a faster metabolism and all. Look, let's put that shit aside, all right? You would practically have to eat a gallon of goddamn ice cream on top of four meals a day to sustain a weight of a baby hippo. Anyways, I guess one day the fat shaming trolls got to Lizzo and she decided to prove them wrong. Rather than measuring her stomach or stepping on a scale to prove her innocence, instead Lizzo decided to perform a foolproof test, something I've, I've never seen before in my lifetime, which is jumping on your bed and proving... <laughs> That the bed frame won't shatter when she lands on it. Like, you actually can't make this shit up, bro. This test is only funny because of how stupid it actually is. And come on, dude. You can't be telling me I ain't fat, I ain't that big, I'm gonna prove it right now. Well, you got a picture of a goddamn donut on your wall, you fat ass, alright? Anyways, guys, before I play this video, I highly recommend going into a storm shelter, hiding under your desk, or simply just taking cover because whatever building you're in at the moment, it might collapse here in a second. Alright, let's take a look. I'm not that fucking big, like, look. All right, guys, this is Reporter Bolo, and I'm here to tell you that the walls are shaking, buildings are collapsing, the world is on fire! All right, let me stop, man, but for real, who the hell built that bed you just jumped on? What fucking astronomical genius did it take to engineer a bed frame like that? I could only imagine the amount of reinforced steel under that mattress holding her up at the moment. You know, dude, I still can't get past the fact that a bunch of 12-year-old kids on TikTok actually bullied a multi-million dollar musician into jumping <laughs> on her bed to prove it won't break, that way she can claim to not be fat. You honestly can't even make this shit up in the movies, man. It's actually really sad to think about that's what Lizzo's life has come to nowadays. Anyways, guys, something we haven't done here on the channel in a couple of weeks, all right? I've been slacking. I've been busy working on Dr. Otter at the moment. This week, we're going to be crowning a green penis here on the channel. This week's green dick is going to be going out to the man, the myth, the legend, King Jaw himself, who says, If I get baited by a fake MILF, I'm chopping my dick off, freezing myself to a cryogenic chamber, setting it to a hundred thousand years, then proceeding to jump in the way of a spaceship laser and mutilating my- holy shit. Mutilating myself until I resemble a fucking Oreo. <laughs> An Oreo and a caramel blizzard from Dairy Queen. Damn, 
Damn, King. Shout out to you, King Jaw. You are this sweet screen penis. As always, guys, if you would like to earn the once in a lifetime prestigious award of a green dick here on the channel, all you have to do is leave a funny comment down below in the comment section. And maybe, just maybe, next week, I'll pick you. And guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the Mills with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today. Fellas, these OnlyFans models are getting way too out of control. Like it's one thing to take a picture of your booty hole and sell it online for everyone to see, but if you're gonna do that, at least do it with some dignity, a little bit of self-respect. Otherwise, I'ma send this guy to your house to roundhouse kick you in the face. Which that guy's from Napoleon Dynamite, for those of you that don't know. But anyway, starting off here, this girl says, My mom just blocked some guy she went on a date with because he wouldn't sub to her OnlyFans. And that's him not supporting her small business. Listen, bitch, that's just simply not how this is gonna go, alright? If I understand that you're an OnlyFans model, and I still make the conscious decision to take you out on a date, the last thing, the absolute last thing I should ever have to do is subscribe to your own goddamn OnlyFans in order to uh, support small business. I'd say you can support my small business by sucking my goddamn dick. I do actually agree with her in terms of like being a small creator on OnlyFans is like running your own little business. However, let's say I have a buddy that lays asphalt and he gets pissed at me because I won't buy any asphalt from him. But like, bro, I don't have anywhere to lay asphalt. I don't need asphalt, nor do I have the money to pay for that. Maybe he didn't need your OnlyFans or maybe he didn't want to fucking pay money for it. He just took you out on a date. Show him your goddamn titties. Come on, do the man a favor. That's just simply one thing I won't stand for. But one thing I will stand for is supporting the goddamn MILFs. And guys, you can help me support the MILFs by subscribing to the goddamn channel and leaving a like on the video. And hopefully soon we'll all be making out with some hot moms. Anyways, guys, without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into the meat and potatoes of the video here. So this person on Twitter tweets out 99.8% of mansplaining isn't done maliciously. Men just love explaining things to each other to other people if he is a kind person and you have the time just let him explain things to you which is whatever right i i really don't agree or disagree with that tweet it's just kind of bullshit in my opinion but whatever and then we have an only fans model mrs goddess jewels say i feel like mansplaining is specifically when they're explaining something in my field of expertise that i would obviously know more than them about if they want to explain like their favorite comic book to me I'll let them if they want to tell me my job that's when I get ornery ornery really that's the word you choose who the hell is under the age of a hundred years old and still using the word ornery anyways this guy responds to her and says what are you even an expert in not having a dad <laughs> I mean, low-key, he's kind of right, though. What, what are you an expert in? Taking pictures of parts of human bodies that you don't normally take pictures of in public? Like, if there's one thing I guess you could be considered an expert on, it would be, uh, the content menu you've laid out. I gotta I got give it to you, all right? This is a pretty good menu right here. Like, you've got it all laid out here. One to five pics, that's gonna charge me $5 a picture. If I'm looking to spend an hour on the camera with you, I can expect to pay six Six dollars a minute like I gotta give it to you this is pretty smart most of these dumb bitches on the internet nowadays just expect you to hit them in the DMs and then they'll give you a custom price anyways I gotta give her some props cuz I feel like she handled the situation much better than like most feminists would especially when she's referring to like a guy mansplaining his favorite comic book which speaking of by the way if you're over the age of 18 reading a goddamn comic book you're probably not getting any pussy in the first place alright that's one place to start my friend drop 
the comic books and pick up a Playboy magazine. But like back to your post, you talk about don't tell me what to do in my field of expertise. Like what the hell are you an expert in? Breathing oxygen? You've been doing it your whole life? That's crazy. It's almost like the rest of us have too. It'd be a little different if you were like a biochemical engineer, like an astronaut or something. But when you become a self-proclaimed stripper, a semen demon, I guess you could say, people just, they, they lose a lot of respect, all right? You might be actually pretty smart doing OnlyFans. People are going to think you're a fucking idiot though, okay? I don't make the rules, man. I really don't. It's no different than you talking about men mansplain everything. Oh, well, this was a pretty good post. You know, Twitter never fails to disappoint, fellas. And with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas we've all heard of a woman starting an only fans to make a couple extra bucks on the side like honestly that's pretty normal in today's society one thing that's not so normal though is a guy getting paid to be featured on her only fans whenever i first heard this news i was thinking to myself man this guy better be cream of the fucking crop this better be your favorite doctor, plumber, lawyer, Mr. Johnny Sins himself. Anyways, before we talk about that, I've actually got something else I want to show you guys. Check out what this dumb bitch put on social media. She says, this dude let me fuck him on the first night and wonders why I won't text him back. I don't fuck with hoes. Oh my god, man. I, I wish I could say this was bait, bro. I really wish she was doing this just to troll the internet in hopes of getting famous. It's not though, man. It's honestly not. She truly feels like she is winning in life right now. Right now and I got bad news for you you're not all right you're making yourself look like a fucking clown you look like a goddamn idiot right now it's actually shocking that you don't fuck with hoes because you know it's kind of crazy when I say this but you are a goddamn hoe you can get a prescription bitch you've been prescribed the hoe damn that shit felt good I haven't written a prescription in a hot minute fellas Speaking of hot, if you guys like hot women, specifically hot women that just so happen to be mothers, guys, it's time you subscribe to the goddamn channel now. Soon you subscribe, later you kiss hot moms. Like, that's just simply how the world fucking works. And without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get straight into the video, fellas. Former V8 Supercars driver turned OnlyFans star Renee Gracie has revealed how much she pays her mystery boyfriend to star alongside her on the adult website. The 26-year-old has made close to $4 million since ditching the career on the racetrack in favor of creating adult content in late 2019. Listen, I really don't want to use the term recruit difficulty here, but I'm just saying, guys, the only time a woman will have to work as hard as a man is if she's ugly. Renee Gracie is not, and that's why she made $4 million selling a couple pictures of her goddamn booty hole. On Monday, Renee told Daily Mail Australia she pays her boyfriend at least $2,700 for each video he appears in. She calls this her co-star fee, which can increase to, oh Jesus fucking Christ, $27,000 goddamn dollars depending on the length of the footage and activities involved. I don't know if I've ever heard the term recruit difficulty used for a man before, but I mean, come on, dude. Imagine getting paid almost 30k to stick your wiener inside of a goddamn hole. I really think the craziest part of this situation is like, you know how sometimes you'll joke with your boys and be like, yo, would you fuck that fat bitch Britney for $10,000? And you sit there and laugh and, you know, say, no, 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 I wouldn't even touch her with a 10 foot pole. But like in the back of your mind, you're like, dude, that's fucking 10 K man. That can set me up for life. That can get me a future. You see though, that's the difference is you have to fuck a fat bitch named Britney. Meanwhile, this mystery boyfriend is making $30,000 fucking a pretty hot girl. 
Also, I can't hate on Miss Gracie for ditching her old career as a race car driver. Dude, she was probably working 50, 60 hours a week in a hot ass race car suit driving on a fucking track in the sun. Like that shit just sounds fun, but also miserable at the same time. I'm sure she was making decent money, but clearly she wasn't making enough because now she just takes a couple pictures a week and brings in 4 million fucking dollars. I get so many demands for X, Y, and Z and then we feed the demand. Some videos fetch, I think the first video we ever did generated $20,000. It really depends on the video and what we're doing, but it's at least a couple thousand US dollars for every video we do. That's what I pay in. Where did I fuck up in life, dude? I honestly feel like a failure. I, I feel like a goddamn Neanderthal right now. Do you guys know how hard I had to work to get pussy, all right? Listen, I had to spend money. I had to spend time with their families that I, I clearly did not want to fucking do. I had to play pretend like, you know, I actually wanted to marry some of these dumb bitches. I just, I had to put up with so much shit and here this guy is getting paid to do something every man dreams of. That is truly some king shit right there. Shout out to you, homie. That is a massive fucking W if I've ever seen one. But guys, you know what day it is, all right? It's fucking Sunday for crying out loud, which means we need to crown this week's green penis. Unfortunately, this week YouTube deleted a lot of your comments and I wasn't able to screenshot them, but this week we're going to be giving out the green dick to your boy Connor who says, I love how all feminists you see are total fat asses. Well, you see Connor, the thing is, usually the ones that are the roundest also have the loudest mouth and that's why they get clowned on the most. Most OnlyFans stars that are successful and hot, they, they don't take this shitty ass bait on the internet bro they don't care like they're just out here trying to get a bag and i respect that shit but when you're a fat fuck trying to sell me pictures of your pussy and also trying to tell me how to live my life according to the code of feminism yeah that that shit don't fly with most of us here on the internet but anyways shout out to you connor you are this week's green penis as always guys if you would like to earn this once in a lifetime prestigious award of a green dick yourself all you have to do is leave a funny comment down below in the comment section and maybe just maybe next week i'll pick you anyways guys with all that being said that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i want to give a shout out to dirt grub for becoming the first channel member here on the on the fucking channel i guess shout out to you dirt grub and also guys if you would like to support the channel yourself you can do so by becoming a member but more importantly fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the milfs with me and i will catch you guys next time later Oh! <laughs> now, Got him. Punch him, punch him. Oh! <laughs> turn around! Oh, he did Oh, my God! Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh God. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! You got him all. Oh, my God. Nice clutch. How clenched was your butthole? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas today we're gonna be taking a look at the struggles of a female streamer i said this last video and i'll say it again dude the only time a woman will have to work as hard as a man is if she's ugly or in this case if a female streamer decides to stream without a face cam we can all just go ahead and assume that she's ugly as shit we all know that if a woman is attractive, she will literally invest more into her webcam than her console. Hell, even more than her fucking microphone, dude. When it comes to the visual evidence, these females, they don't fucking play around, man. Anyways, the other day, I went on Twitch and I was trying to decipher what the top female streamers really have to offer to their viewers. And I gotta say, man, it was not really looking that good. These bitches are simply just not funny, they're not good at video games, they have zero fucking personality. The one thing they really had to offer was some nice assets, if you know what I'm saying. Really, at the end of the day, these women are nothing more than glorified cum dumpsters. Which is fine, right? That's fine. I respect the hustle, honestly, because someone needs to take this fucking splooge. All I'm saying is that if I'm looking to relieve a little bit of pressure, I ain't looking at Amaranth riding a goddamn banana. 
One thing I would like to look at, though, is every single one of you watching this video supporting some fucking hot moms, which you can just so happen to do by subscribing to the goddamn channel and leaving a like on the video. A mother in need is a mother for me, and guys, without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get straight into the video. This streamer has been blowing up on Twitch lately thanks to a deal with Gen G and a switch to playing video games like Valorant, but it hasn't been a walk in the park either for Jessica or many of the other female streamers she's become close with during this time. The amount of shit we have to get through is just insane. The comments, the misogynistic men in our chat, it just blows my mind how people think that's okay to have this mindset. I really want to uplift women content creators, streamers, and gamers. I think they're amazing. Listen, I'm not against uplifting female streamers or content creators. I think that's great, honestly. But what I'm asking is please, just fucking please, at the end of the day, do something that is respectable. I don't care if you're sewing a goddamn quill or playing Call of Duty. Whatever it is, be good at a video game. Have some personality. Interact with your stream. If you guys ever click on an ethot stream and the face cam is literally bigger than the gameplay that she's displaying in the background like at that point you're literally just using your tits for money you are being nothing more than an object like first off you want fucking men to respect you but then you use your body as an object come on bitch have a little bit of common sense the sad part about this too is a lot of these top streamers start off playing video games doing respectable content and trying to build a small community. But it's just like, after a while, dude, it doesn't seem to work out the way they want. Maybe they're not making enough money, they're not gaining enough followers per day, or even they see another female streamer taking the easy route, and then they get jealous. Or they just simply don't want to put the fucking work in. Although some of you may disagree, I really don't feel like I have a misogynistic outlook on this. Basically, do you make content that your father would be proud of is really the only, the only question you have to answer. I just want to like myself, she tweeted late last night. My depression makes me eat and buy things to be happy. Then I get more depressed that I'm gaining weight and that I'm broke. Ha ha ha. Ha, huh, yeah, funny. Dude, I bet the amount of simp lords that are responding to these tweets has gotta be fucking unreal. I mean, I really don't have much to add about this. Like, it's just fucking simple bait, bro. You're feeling bad, you're feeling depressed, so you make a bait tweet like this in hopes of getting some fat-ass fucking 35-year-old failures to tell you how beautiful and perfect you are. I mean, it's literally nothing new. Every goddamn female on the face of the planet pretty much does this right here. Also, sometimes they make these tweets not only to increase their already fucking big egos, but more importantly, they're looking to get their interactions up. It's a good business move that's getting their name out there. Anyways, moving on here, the final part of the article says, For many female streamers on Twitch, the issues they face go beyond what their male counterparts generally go through. While the Twitch community often voices concerns that Twitch favors select female streamers, it hasn't stopped some content creators from dealing with a lot of serious problems. This includes sexism and harassment as well as stalking. See, here's the thing I don't get, dude. It's okay for these dumb fucking bitches out here nowadays to say something along the lines of, kill all men, we don't fucking want them anymore, we don't fucking need them. But if I pop into her Twitch chat and I say something like, yo, bitch, go make me a sandwich, it's time to fold the laundry. Or even if I just make a simple comment like, you know, it's okay, you don't have to be good at video games because you're a female. You're expected to do bad. I just simply couldn't imagine getting butt hurt over those stupid, stupid comments in the year 2021. At the end of the day, everyone deals with sexism, everyone deals with harassment. It really just comes down to, are you a fucking pussy or not? And if you just so happen to be a pussy, it's probably time to hop off the internet. It's time to take this shit out behind the barn and put it the fuck down. Anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a quick shout out to my members, which if you guys want to support the channel, you can do so by becoming a member today. But more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the mills with me, and I will catch you guys next time later.
All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas today We're gonna be talking about how to fight misogyny as a man first off I got to preface this video by saying guys I am a doctor more specifically as you guys should know by now I am one of the best gynecologists in the nation which just so happens to mean that all of my patients are women I love women this world would not be the same without females there would be a lot less crying a lot less bitching about things no one possibly could care about but more importantly my dick would be fucking drier than that episode of spongebob getting locked in sandy's house i just simply couldn't live life without it but guys before we get too far into the video if you enjoy making love with hot women that just so happen to be mothers otherwise known as a milf guys Quit wasting your own goddamn time. Subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. Now, without wasting any more freaking time, let's get into the video, fellas. There are probably a million different ways, but I'm gonna talk about two kind of opposite ways that you could approach this. Now, the first way is that you could fight back. You could call it out. You could sue somebody. You could sue somebody dude you honestly couldn't make this shit up if you tried like only a woman's first reaction would be to sue somebody let's say there is a little bit of blatant sexism in the kitchen at a workplace right rather than just approaching the person and saying um that's not my fucking job to clean up that mess just because i have a vagina or even just taking a different approach and saying like please don't fucking talk to me like that just because i'm a woman your first response <laughs> Your first idea is to go get your fucking lawyer and take this man to court. Honestly, in my opinion, that's a very weak-minded way to approach the situation. Like, if you see someone deliberately being misogynistic, call that person out. Don't be a fucking weak individual, you know, just because physically speaking, maybe you are not capable of kicking this person's ass, but that doesn't mean you can't stand up to them vocally. And also, another way to look at it is... A famous quote that I don't know who said it, which is don't fight the old, but rather create the new. Oh, so rather than fixing the current situation, you'd rather just blow things out of proportion, go behind your fucking manager's back, speak to a goddamn lawyer and create a new issue. Yeah, man, I, I, I honestly, I don't even know what the fuck to say at the moment, dude. I'm stumbling over my own goddamn words because this is the most woman approach to anything I've ever seen in my lifetime. And that right there, fellas, is why misogyny is seen as a fucking joke. It looks pathetic. If you want people to take you seriously, you've got to you've got to do something else, okay? I'm sure the woman speaking is very nice and probably a great friend to have, but I got to say, man, I hate to be this guy too, by the way. I fucking hate to be the bearer of bad news. Do not listen to a goddamn thing this poor girl is saying, all right? She sounds like she's been bullied in life and she hasn't gotten anywhere. If you want to make a goddamn difference in the world, do something fucking respectable. Make me earn your respect, even if that means standing up to my own fucking co-worker, calling him a goddamn pussy. Do something, man. Do fucking something to get me on your side. But if you decide to run from the main problem and create new ones along the way, like, what the fuck are you accomplishing at that point, you know? So the second way to go about it might be to create something new, to walk away from that situation. Oh, Jesus, woman. No, 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 no. We are not going to talk about this again. You literally just said this 10 seconds ago. I touched on this top. Yeah, I'm not even going to waste my fucking time here. What I believe is misogyny in my one of my jobs that I before I left and became an entrepreneur. And I dealt with it for years and I put up with it and I mm, kind of fought it as much as I could from a low level position that I was in. But ultimately, when I decided to go and leave and create my own business, I really like how you gave us the most generic fucking answer of all time. Like there were literally zero specific in that statement whatsoever oh i was working a job i faced misogyny i left the job like damn damn i really didn't think about that one a little word of advice would be if you're going to give us an example like actually give us a fucking example you know like here i'll give you one one day i walked into work and my manager who just so happens to be a male said that i can't do this job because i have a vagina Anyways, I think we're done here. My head is starting to hurt from the stupidity I'm getting from this video. Again, no offense to this woman right here.
here. I'm sure she is a lovely lady, but her points are fucking god awful, dude. Like, this is the equivalent of a third grade presentation, in my opinion. You know, as one of the best gynecologists in the goddamn state, I gotta say, man, I think I did a better job coming up with ways to fight misogyny here. With that being said, remember, fellas, misogyny, it really only goes one way. It's okay for a woman to say, hey, let's kill all men, but if I were to say, let's kill all, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna go down that road because this video and my channel will probably be deleted off YouTube in the morning if I say what I, I really wanna fucking say here, Susan. You're really holding me back, Susan. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. Shout out to Dirt Grub for becoming the channel's first member. But anyways, guys, more importantly, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the hot moms with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. You could sue somebody. Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas today we're gonna be taking a look at an e-girl that has feelings made of glass listen I'm not exactly saying that you should bully people just for being on the internet but I mean if you think about it it's really just a good case of character building one day all these small YouTube channels out there I mean including people my size they are going to face actual trolls people that are just straight up fucking mean even for me like sometimes I get nasty comments comments on videos, I might laugh at it, and then I go on with my day. I really don't think much about it. However, some of these other smaller content creators, if you were to pop into their stream and say something like, hey bitch, you got a big nose, or maybe that individual just looks like they smell, I mean, either way, dude, you got to build up the thick skin to handle stuff like that. But the other thing you have to build up is the ability to make out with hot moms, which you can just so happen to do by subscribing to the goddamn channel and leaving a like on the video. Now guys, without wasting any more time, let's get straight into this one. This girl starts off by saying how to gently tell my Twitch friend to not be a dick on my stream. I like to stream Overwatch from time to time and I've made a couple friends who watch me semi-regularly and since streaming around April, I've got around 29 followers. Now I don't have the best internet, so my stream looks more on the potato side. Audio can be described as crunchy because of my potato internet. I I lag sometimes. I miss a lot of shots, especially when the weather's bad. Cue my already affiliate streamer friend that's going on about Pepega aim, Pepega this and that. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold the fuck on. I swear to God, man, if I catch any of you guys watching this video right now, if I catch any of you using the word fucking Pepega or Poggers or, or Pogchamp or any of that dumb shit, do not ever say that shit out loud again. Do you understand me? Unless you're perfectly capable of living your life as a virgin and never getting pussy, just, just don't, dude. Don't, don't say those words out loud, especially in front of a female. Email. I guess he also used words like way too dank this and way too dank that, complaining in a joking way about how long I hold on to my ult, how I use it, how many kills, etc. I know he's just joking, but at this point, it's really damaging to how I enjoy playing my games. With my equipment, internet, and how much time I actually get to play, I'm not that good, but I play for fun. It's quickly becoming more of an exercise in patience so I don't lose my cool in front of my two to three viewers. I don't want to hurt my friends' feelings, we support each other's streams and have fun, but at the same time, I know some people don't understand what you're trying to communicate until you get mad. Damn, alright, so fellas, we got a lot to break down in this one here. Let's start off with the slander towards her gaming skills. If you are letting the phrase, oh, you have Pepega aim, actually live rent-free in your head, I I'm sorry, I do not want to be mean here, but it's time to hang it the fuck up. Up. Take the streaming career out behind the barn and put it the fuck down if you know what I'm saying. I mean, it'd be one thing if your friend was just straight up like, listen, bitch, you're fucking dog shit. You can't game. You're literally a woman. You will never be good at video. Like, if he started saying things along those lines, I guess I could understand how it hurts your feelings. I mean, at the end of the day, dude, we're fucking talking about how good you are at a video game. Does honestly, does anyone honestly care about how good you are at gaming? 
But I mean, honestly, you cannot be letting the phrase, you have Pepega aim, get you this upset. And don't even try to act like you're not, alright? You took time out of your own goddamn day to make this post on Reddit. That is the definition of big fucking mad. And like I mentioned earlier, this guy uses the word fucking Pepega out loud. I already know he's a goddamn loser. Really, the only advice I could give you here is that it appears your stream is failing because you've only got two to three viewers and you're a woman. If you want to gain more followers, you need more cleavage. If you are not getting the amount of viewers that you wish to be getting, you need more cleavage. <laughs> like, are you catching up on the trend here? Oh, and I almost forgot, if none of that seems to be working, then you need to make your face cam about three to four times bigger than the gameplay that you're actually broadcasting. But you're over here talking about you don't want to lose your cool in front of two to three viewers. Like, listen, no one's gonna care, alright? It's honestly Honestly, probably gonna be the highlight of your fucking stream. I'm honestly starting to think this is a little bit more of a jealousy issue because she mentions that her already affiliate streamer friend started saying like does that make sense to you guys either way if he's trying to flex affiliate on you that's that's not a fucking flex at all right there are people out here that don't even have a goddamn brain they don't have arms or legs don't even fucking read their own fucking chat but yet they can reach affiliate pretty easily like it's really not an accomplishment. Either way, you can't be out here letting phrases like this live rent-free in your fucking head, alright? I could only imagine if someone popped in your stream and said, Hey bitch, your nose looks awfully big today. I honestly cannot wait to react to that. But anyways guys, it's Sunday for crying out loud. You guys know what that means. It is time to crown this week's green penis. This week's green dick is gonna be going out to deserve who says, What's the problem with a little misogyny? Just lick the shaft and stop complaining. Play me. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, honestly, I couldn't have said that any fucking better myself, man. Anyway, shout out to Deserve. He is this week's green dick and balls. And guys, as always, you can become a green dick here on the channel. All you have to do, it's very simple and it's free. Leave a funny comment down in the comment section below. And maybe, just maybe next Sunday, I'll pick you. But anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys would like to support the channel, Channel, consider becoming a member today which shout out to dirt grub for becoming the first channel member but guys more importantly be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the milfs with me and i will catch you guys next time later <laughs> Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Fellas, as you guys just witnessed, we're gonna be taking a look at why it's really not fun to be surrounded by drunk girls. More importantly though guys, I gotta give that building in the background some props. That thing actually just withstood a magnitude 7 earthquake from her and it's still standing bro. It's still standing. Whoever built that goddamn building, I need to sign him to a contract right now. I mean, I actually feel bad for this woman. She's like just shy of about 350 pounds. Bro, she's built like an NFL linebacker. This gotta be like Brian Erlacher's daughter or something out here. But yeah, when she smacked the ground at like 150 miles an hour, I could have swore I saw the windows in the background like ripple a little bit. You didn't see nothing out of that building though. That thing is sturdy as fuck. You know what else is sturdy though? The desk that you're about to pork a hot mom on. Guys, by the way, if you are not subscribed to the channel, you're probably just wasting your time at this point. Do yourself a favor, make out with some hot moms, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get right into it. You're being rude to me. I'm, I'm trying being to help rude. you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Can you move? I'll move. I honestly feel bad, bro. Like, this poor fella has literally dedicated his entire night to following this woman around, making sure that she's safe, she's not getting into any sort of trouble. Yeah, man, you're gonna have to miss me with that, bro. Maybe I'm just an asshole at the end of the day, but, like, I'll stick around for a little bit, you know? I'll talk to you for a little bit, but then I'm gonna call an Uber, I'm gonna call your mom, and I'm gonna ship your ass home. I'm done. <laughs> 
we're, we're done at that point. Don't even message me back. And also, like, it's one thing to get drunk if you're pretty good friends or maybe if you've been out on a couple of dates. But, like, getting absolutely shit-faced on one of the first dates whenever you're trying to impress a guy, like, yeah, I, I don't really know about that, bro. Typically, those don't really work out, if you know what I'm saying. If you call the cop- Why would call the fucking cop? Your phone's right there. Then give it to me. See, fellas, see why you don't try and be that nice guy. Look where you've got yourself now. You are stuck in this situation right here. Like, this guy has done everything right. If there was a book on how to deal with drunk, fat white girls, this man has literally lived that book to a T. This guy was actually nice enough to invite this woman into his own house, right? He lets her sleep on the couch, sleep until you're sober, we'll take care of the issue in the morning, right? And then it just, it goes downhill from there. <laughs> it gets much worse, fellas. Take a look. You should not... No. Stop. Have you guys ever been on an airplane and like you have a little child behind you, he's kicking your fucking seat, screaming, it's not a very pleasurable experience. This is kind of the same thing, dude. This is honestly kind of the same thing. You just have a giant fucking linebacker toddler screaming out of your own goddamn front door at 1 a.m. pissing off every single one of your neighbors and now you look like an asshole. Like I don't want to say this guy deserves it, but you know, like you, you kind of fucking walked into the situation. And I think the worst part about it is that this guy can literally do nothing if he were to try and pull the girl back inside his house bro she would turn around pick this man up by his own goddamn neck and toss him out the front door i mean it'd literally be like a first grader trying to do a takedown on arnold schwarzenegger like come on young man get the fuck up it's it's not gonna happen today buddy anyways like i said you know shout out to this guy he did a great job great job and everything homie but now you look like a fucking idiot you look like a goddamn clown and now you know why it's really just not fun to be surrounded by drunk girls it sounds good in the moment right it really does sound like a fun time until it turns out like this and they think they're all so goddamn funny like this woman is probably gonna watch back this tape whenever she's sober and she's gonna laugh her fucking ass off she's gonna think it's so freaking funny meanwhile this poor fella no no bad fucking night don't ever do not ever come the hell over to my house again. Do you understand me? Either way, I wish this man the best when it comes to his dating endeavors, but for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that things didn't quite work out. Whenever you expect me to be the boyfriend and the babysitter, yeah, that's that's when I'm out, dude. That's when I'm the fuck out of that situation. But anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys would like to support the channel, consider being becoming a member today but more importantly fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the milfs with me and i will catch you guys next time later never ever ever let a man tell you what the fuck you can do he's not your dad he's your partner you're supposed to work together my ex-boyfriend didn't let me post Instagram bikini photos. And he wouldn't let me wear certain things. Insecure man. Wait, you're actually mad because your ex-boyfriend wouldn't let you leave the house looking like a dirty hooker. See, in my opinion, that kind of defeats the purpose of actually being in a relationship. Like, at that point, you're just craving attention from other men. You're leaving the door open in case there's another opportunity. So was your ex-boyfriend actually being insecure, or did he just not sign up to date a dirty skank? Either way, this is something that needs to be consensual within the relationship, because sometimes guys actually like that. They want their girls to go out in public and show off that ass. They like the thought of other men wanting to sleep with their girl, but never actually having the opportunity because that's kind of their territory, you know? Are so toxic and a waste of time and life. You deserve better and you need to either talk to him or leave him. They can't be fixed. It's a red flag for emotional abuse. 
I had to learn that out the hard way, and I'm sure a lot of other girls did too. Never let someone hold you back. Uh, hey babe, do you care if I walk around town naked for a little bit? I'm really just trying to get some attention from these nasty old men on the streets. I just want them to stare at my titties for a little bit and tell me that I'm pretty. Uh, no? Oh my god, you're so toxic. Like, I, I can't handle this. The emotional abuse you are giving me right now, it's not fair. You're not my father. You're supposed to be my partner. I don't know if, like, maybe all the lip fillers or the Botox just went directly to your brain, but do you understand? And how fucking stupid you sound when you actually say that out loud. Like, there's just no way you actually suffered emotional abuse because your boyfriend wouldn't let you be a dirty fucking whore in public. And like, the craziest part of this whole situation is that if you really feel like you are being mistreated, just leave him. Just dump his dumb ass. Nobody's forcing you to stay in that relationship, but more importantly, this is kind of a slap in the face to all women that are actually suffering from emotional abuse. There is definitely a single mom out there right now that doesn't know how she's going to get her rent paid. Her husband just divorced her. She's trying to take care of the kids. Meanwhile, she's getting emotionally abused by her ex-husband. She's getting called fucking stupid, a worthless whore. She's never going to amount to anything. Like, I'm sure you guys get the example by now. Like, don't you guys think that's kind of a fucking spit in the face to women that are actually suffering right now. Meanwhile, you're just upset because your boyfriend won't won't let you just pop some titties out in public. And like I mentioned earlier, if he's cool with it, you know, that's great. That's great. I love looking at titties in public. But if he's not cool with it, then it's emotional abuse. Like, come the fuck on. Seriously. I literally get spammed with this comment. My job is a real job. I legally have to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of tax just because I'm not laying out bricks in the hot sun or like building houses. Love that. Respect that. Clearly not for me. It is literal, real money. Therefore, it is a real job. Fellas, I'm not gonna lie. I've sat here for several minutes. I've tried to come up with a reason to discredit her work, and I gotta say, man, I just, I can't. It pains me to do this, but I, I gotta say, man, I agree with her. OnlyFans is a real job, as long as you have the salary to back it up. I don't give a goddamn if you're wiping ass cracks for a living. If you're making $50,000 or more a year doing it, it's a job in my opinion. But if you were to ask the question, well, is OnlyFans a respectable job? See, that's where things can get a little bit different. Now, let's actually remove OnlyFans from the situation here. And let's say she's a YouTuber. Her channel's bringing in like 300 bucks a month. Is that a real fucking job? See, that's where I draw the line. You don't have enough money to live on at that point. I guess you could call it a good hobby, a good side gig, but would I ever refer to it as a real job? No. No, I can't, man. Honestly, I don't even care if you're like the leading aerospace engineer at NASA. If you're not bringing in the money to support yourself, it's not a job, man. Hang it the fuck up. It's time to do something else with your life. Taking pictures of your butthole for a living, it may not be a normal job but nevertheless like she's bringing in a pretty big salary as far as I'm concerned and I guess the way I'm looking at it is really no different than like let's say a pro fisherman right the dude likes to catch fish for a living a lot of people do it for a hobby but if he's bringing in the money he's putting food on the table like who the fuck am I to judge what you're doing at that point you know anyways guys it's Sunday for crying out loud that means we need to crown this week's green penis this week's green dick is gonna be going out to Danny Kemper who says the the real question is, how the fuck did that land whale drink enough booze to get drunk? What? Did she put a brewing company or two out of business? And at the beginning of the video, I was like, oh no, don't let the land whale fall. She fell. Oh shit, now Japan flooded again. If you guys don't know what Danny is referring to, you'll have to check out one of my latest videos, Drunk Annoying Females are the absolute fucking worst. Anyways, shout out to you, Danny. You are this week's green penis. As always, guys, you can become a green dick on the channel yourself. All you have to do is leave a funny comment down below in the comment section, and maybe, just maybe next week, I'll choose you. Anyways, guys, that's
that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. Which shout out to all three of my current members. OMG, it's Birdman Archive, Joseph, and Dirt Grub. I appreciate you guys tremendously. More importantly though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Different. Not everyone is going to be a hard working man. Not everyone is cut out to do hard work.